Hey, it's me, Pro Jared. Welcome back to Pokemon the Training Card Game 2. Couple things. One, I got all my double colors energy. I had to fight her like four or five more times just to get it to happen, but I got all the double colors energy. And also, thanks to that, I now have like a full playset of the rare Blastoise to use. Uh, I also went and fought this kid one more time just because I wanted two more flight boosters. I didn't get anything too exciting out of there, except for like, uh, it's like a new Squirtle, a new Ponyta, and, uh, I don't know, but that's it. Nothing really cool out of the rares. Um, also did not realize it. I had to look it up. Uh, turns out this card that I opened up like an episode or two ago, um, kind of a big deal. Didn't realize that. Hey for me! Uh, so thank you, Azriel and Vampire, for sending in that booster pack. An incredibly lucky booster pack that included this rainbow patch Pikachu. Alright, more importantly, I got all the double colors energy. Which means we can bounce out of here. We can go back to GR Island. And we can go get the colorless coin. I didn't realize I could walk onto this. I thought this was like a fence. Alright. It doesn't matter, but whatever. Yep, skip, skip, skip. Boom! I'm back, baby. Ooh, you know what? I might go to that computer and just shove more cards into the computer just to get more random stuff out of it, because that's kind of fun. I also got, like, way more extra Butterfreeze on those boosters. Yeah. Let me hop into this first and just shove stuff into the computer until stuff comes out. Is this the one I wanted? No, it's not. Wait, do I have to go in here for the black box? Oh no, okay. Alright. Yeah, black box. Oh, I gotta use chips? Oh. Fine. I'm gonna go get my chips. Now, give me these. So I can go feed it to the machine. It's very symbolic as I spend a lot of money on booster packs. I wouldn't do that, would I? I wouldn't just have a bunch of booster packs next to me at all times. Okay, so what should I shove in there? What do, what do I need more of? Um, I have a bunch of extra Caterpie. I'm shoving a bunch of Caterpie. And Ekans. Good, done. Looks good to me. Alright, let's shove those in. Who knows what we'll get out of it? Do I really have to watch this animation every time? I sure do. Alright. More! Oh, I gotta wait for the other ones to show up first? Oh, I thought I could just like keep doing that and have like eight emails waiting, all with fun new cards in it. All right, well, I'll take these back, lady. To the double colorless altar! Okay. Now, I need to put together a deck. Oh, are they here already? Oh, they are here! What did I get from shoving in this caterpiece? Zubat? You don't need to do a jingle game that's not that exciting. So my Caterpie became a Caterpie. Okay. Is it common for common? Like if I put in rares? All right, that was it. All right, so that sucked. Okay, I need to make a deck. Which really, I'm just, I'm just gonna take the, the bug deck and uh put in two more double colorless energy that'd be like the fastest way to do this boom 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 done although i kind of fear what's gonna pop out of this wait what mysterious fossil cards no i already fought you once There we go. Double colorless. 
There we go. Yeah, which guy it was. All right. Snorlax Black Blockade. Okay. I can get past that blockade. I got both my Scythers and a Venonat, and of course, neither. Neither uh, double colorless energy. That's fine. Scyther has free retreat, so we can lead off with him. Please don't be Snorlax. Go first. Damn it. Kangaskhan, recycle energy, and just draws a card. I already see your plan. You have nothing but big butts. Don't you? Kangaskhan, Lickitung, Kangaskhan, Chant. Yeah. It's just all big butts. Well, if I would have known this, I would have brought all the fighting in. Because these are all called. Okay, okay. I did before because anywhere, everyone else I fought was just like, oh yeah, I'm a colorless deck, and then they send a bunch of fire crap at me. Source Dance. I don't have to worry about King Kangaskhan doing any damage back. The energy removal is bad. Mm, that's a lot of cards. Ivysaur is not helpful. Swords Dance again. Guys, yeah, just drawing cards and doing a lot of setup. Caterpie. I gotta stick with the Scyther plan. Swords Dance. I'll be able to get him killed in two more attacks. Damn it! Double colorless. Would really, really helpful here. Energy. Go beetle. Should I just retreat him and try to have Weedle poison him? That comet punch is scary too, though. Oh, I hate fighting you already. All misses. Ow. Or I mean to deal 60 damage to Scyther, and all that energy I put onto him is practically wasted. Eh? That might help him survive a hit. 60. Oops, all misses. I can take one. I can take one! Yes! Good job, Scyther! Still in it, baby! Really don't know where to put the other energy. Probably Weedle, because the poison might help the most, or I can use Venonet to try to disrupt them. Alright, let's see what, what they got coming out. Lick a tongue with tongue wrap and supersonic. That's super obnoxious. Kangaskhan with the same crap. Chansey with nothing. I Poison looks the most helpful. Take that. Oh, got a bill out of it. Good draw. Out comes the lick a tongue. Recycle energy. All right. Scyther dies. Sucks a lot. But a Weedle poison would be huge. Right, Weedle? Second like Venonat. Uh, oops. Bill! Professor Oak and the Full Heal. He's got Tongue Wreck and Supersonic, so I actually kind of want to keep the Full Heal. So I don't want to Oak quite yet. Yeah. Go for the poison! Yes! There we go. That'll ruin your plans at least a little bit. You want to stall? I'm going to slowly to die while you do. Full heal energy to Kangaskhan? I'm not sure I understand that decision, but okay. Yeah, Paralyzed Weedle, which is fine, because I have a full heal. You're taking poison damage. Grass energy. 
But then that has disable. That's a coin flip, right? Well, I kind of like that plan. We'll full heal up Weedle. Oh, Professor Oak. That way, in case something happens, I can get Weedle out of there and try to uh, use... Whoa, nope. Even better. Now we got the plan. We still got double colors energy that I can use for Scyther. Running out of grass energy in the deck, apparently. There's... A little scary. Alright. Just keep doing extra poison damage. Not like Tongue to get messed up by it. Cycle energy to Kangaskhan. Misses the par paralyze on Weedle. Takes 10 damage from poison. Got Kakuna! That would actually kind of be huge. Ah, I wonder, would it? If you put out Kangaskhan and Comet Punch. Kangaskhan could get poison, Lickitung could get poison. If they go Chansey, then Kakuna does nothing, though. Not sure what I like there. Wait, I have Beedrill in hand? Maybe it is worth starting the evolution chain. Yeah. Get the extra hit points. Just maybe start building up to Beedrill. If nothing else, I can use Beedrill for a free retreat. Item finder. To get energy removal. Energy removals. Kakuna. Scoops him up! Aw, oh, you bastard! All that damage for nothing! Alright. Get Kakuna out of the retreat. Send in Venomoth. Venomoth, Rainbow Powder. You're gonna start taking damage or get paralyzed? Damage it is. Thinking for a while, huh? Just fetches? That's usually a good sign for me. If they got nothing else they can do but draw a card, usually a good sign. Hey, what's in your hand? You have nine cards in your hand? That's intimidating. Paralyze it? Oh, paralyze too. Perfect. So Kangaskhan can't retreat, can't draw a card, is bleeding to death, unless you got a switch or scoop up Kangaskhan dies. Double colors energy to Chansey. Nothing. All right, Kangaskhan dies. Good. Got a pincer. Oh, my bench is full? Dang, that's fine. Uh, here, Scyther. Well, we'll save this double colors energy for pincer. So I could... Alright, what comes next after I kill Kangaskhan? Chance he can come out and go scrunch. Which prevents all damage, but not effects. Lickitung can come out and try to tongue wrap. So damage-wise, Venomoth should be okay. I'm trying to decide if it's worth retreating Venomoth and letting uh, Scyther get the kill, just for the free retreat and protect Venomoth from a little bit of damage here. Not really looking like it matters much. Alright, let's kill Kangaskhan, get all that energy off your field. And I get another Metapod. Chansey came up. Perfect. You can scrunch all you want, because I'm still going to do stuff to you. Energy removal and then I'm off, you butthole. Misses, though. Energy? Energy search. Good enough! That's like my last grass, though. I have energy retrieval somewhere in the deck. Poison? Paralyze. Yeah, that still works. 
just trying to lock Chansey down. Super energy removal. Removes it from Lickitung. Takes everything off a of Scyther? Jesus. Okay. I'm like running out of stuff to do here. Trader, more double colorless energy. Here, Scyther. What can I use the Trader to get? Butterfree? A Butterfree needs all grass energy to attack. I'm not super sure. I also kind of fear Chansey going scrunch. Not that I think he'd go for a double K out here. I feel like the computer's AI makes them want to not lose Pokemon. Just stick to the scrunch. Fine with me. Because if you got poison damage going, that can keep you paralyzed. Ooh, gust of wind. Hold on to that if I can keep killing Chansey. Oh, please don't do anything to... I can't... I feel like another scoop up or something like that. I also worry about this coming down to how much cards are left in our deck. Because I have way less in my deck than it does. Retreats Chansey, goes Lickitung. Missed the Paralyze. Damn it. Faster. Metapod. Now, did you just retreat, Chansey? It's only one energy retreat, Chansey? That's stupid. Bring her back. Hold on, let's use Pokemon Trader. For if no other reason, then to look what's in my left of my deck. Two grass energy and double colorless. There's a grand total of three energy cards left in the deck. That's not great. One energy search. I don't have energy retrieval in here. That's bad, which means it's probably in the prize pool. Uh-oh. So if Venomoth dies, I have like almost no one can attack him. I can get Duck Color Surgery into Beedrill, and Beedrill can use Twins, starts using Twin Needle. Because there's not enough energy left for Pinsir. Yep. That's scary. Misses the Scrunch. Take that. Paralyzed. Good. Chance you can't retreat. So I gotta confirm chance you kill. Bill's teleporter. Kyle hope he was succeeded. Fuck scoop up, I knew it. Freaking knew it, dude. Plus power. No, do not kill Venomoth. Alright, just 20 damage. That hurts, but Venomoth's okay. Gust of Wind. Might just Gust of Wind bring out a Snorlax, because Snorlax can't attack anytime soon or retreat. Because otherwise this Lickitung can do too much damage back. Good poison. And now Starlight's like, oh, Venomoth can't retreat. It's like, does it look like I'm looking to retreat here, dude? I'm just here to kill your shit. Pull here energy to lick a tongue. Not Snorlax. Venusaur. If I can get... Getting Venusaur down actually would help a lot because energy transfer would go a long way here. If I could just transfer all the energy to whatever Pokemon I need at the time. But... Don't have Ivysaur. 12 cards left in the deck. Frick. 
Snorlax gonna die to poison. I got that going for me. Here's my one more grass energy. <sighs> on Scyther, Scyther can slash for 30. On Beedrill, he can twin needle for 0 to 60. Butterfree's got Whirlwind. I'm gonna not play it yet. It's like too risky to play it right now. I want a Tornado Gust to protect Venomoth from damage. Yeah. Because he's going to bring out Lickitung to try to paralyze. I'm just going to bring out Butterfree, who also has a free retreat. Gust of Wind. Okay. I can stick with the plan and get the other Snorlax out. Paralyzed Butterfree. That's fine. Butterfree's just gonna soak some hits. Because right now, Venomoth is my most helpful. I, mean, I got 10 cards left, dude. This is so freaking scary. Gust of Wind, bring out Snorlax. I can't retreat anymore. Why did I do that? That was so dumb of me. Why did I do that? Oh, why did I do that? Oh, I needed to retreat first. I screwed up bad. I screwed up bad. That's gonna kill me. Unless I can get Ivysaur to Venusaur and energy transfer. Oops. And I know there's no energy left for Butterfree to Gust of Wind. I screwed up so bad. I screwed up so bad. Oh no. Energy removal. Venomoth! That's fine, I still got grass left. Caterpie, nope. I'm gonna run out of cards! That's it! It's gonna come down to deck, and I'm gonna run out. Oh, I do have one more grass energy in there. There's no Ivysaur, though. Oh, it's not a May? I have to? Whoops. I just made my deck go lower like a dummy. Potion. I thought he was going to put energy on Snorlax and attack with Snorlax. Okay, still could. Honestly, yes, please. I need Butterfree out of there. And Snorlax wakes up right away. Butterfree does not. Four cards left. I can't do it. I have got to get three prizes still. I don't have the time. I can't do enough damage, and these Snorlaxes are the worst. Super energy removal. Hits Venomoth. Yeah, I can't do anything. It's over. It's just gonna go to the deck. I have one grass energy left in my hand. Beedrill has the potential to do the most damage. I mean, it's my best bet. It's not a good bet, but it's my best bet. Do not use Bill. Not giving up. 30. 60. Surprise Beedrill comeback. Come on, baby. Super energy removal again? Now it's over. Now it's absolutely over. Unless my opponent suddenly does something that he draws eight cards. Dex himself first. Alright. Didn't realize this is what your deck was going to be like. Now I know. Get something that punches. And again, 
If I just had... If I just had an Ivy Sword, it would help a lot. You know what? Here, let me uh, speed this up for you. There we go. Okay. Well, this is obnoxious. I guess I haven't used a fighting deck in a while. Well, it seems like he doesn't have anything that I may switch. Nope, still sticking with double colors. Alright, good. Alright, here's what we do. I haven't made like a good punchy deck in a while. We're going pure punchy. Punchy in such a way that it like really punches them. I got more do the wave wiggly tufts. But no. Alright. You wanna punch? Let's punch. Where's that Doug Chirito? The sinkhole? I want sinkhole. Sinkhole Doug Trio. Those sand shrews worth it? With the poison sting and swift? Otherwise, I just have them chokes. Chops. Um, Geodude, Golem, and Gravelers. Boulder Smash for 30. You hit Bench Pokemon. Ooh, I kind of like that. Graveler looking pretty good. Golem's Avalanche, which is just a lot out. 20 damage each Pokemon, each player's bench. Yeah, let's do the let's do a Geodude line. Ah, wow, my Geodude options are awful. I got Tackle, Arden, Stone Barrage. Flip a coin until you get Tails. I guess the Stone Barrage Geodudes. The uh, Boulder Smash Grabblers looks good. And one Golem. Uh, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan... I don't have any of the good Hitmonchans. Not Aerodactyl. Kaboot Tops could be good with Absorb. Because he'd hit 80, heal himself for 40. Dark Marowak, Marowak. Sandshrew. I like the, the fact that the Sandshrew has a chance to poison. Otherwise, it versus this deck, 40 damage for one energy is amazingly good. And then we can get the uh, Slash or Fury Swipes. Growing Needle does 80 plus additional for each head while he hits himself. I'll do Sand Slashes. Okay. Energy retrievals are a must, apparently. It's gonna need way better trainer cards, isn't it? Challenge, no. Super scoop up, potentially. Moonstone, no. Defender, no. Gust of Winds were helpful. They had some paralyzed stuff, so I need to keep that in mind. Boss's way. I've got the one dark diglet.
What does recycle energy do again? I don't have any, never mind. Put in a full heal energy. man. We'll go with this punchy deck. Which isn't so much punchy as it is sandy. Wait, you just change it? But I just talked to you. God, wait, what'd you say? Sorry, hold on. Oh, I, right, I need double colors in this, in this deck. I already forgot. Sorry, one second. My bad. Um, oh, actually with that in mind, I should use fighting Pokemon that can use double colors energy. Which Sand Slash does not, but this Sand Slash could. So we'll exchange those. Diggly and Doug Trio. Not particularly. Uh, I don't need these Mankeys. Or the Dark Primates. You may want to go f use Dark Machap flings and just empty the bench. Golem, the Gravelers. I just don't want my the double colors energy to be uh, empty draws. May not have much of a choice here. Rhyhorn? They are. They all need like fighting. Double. Uh, I'm a choke. Sure. That's my best bet. Uh, and these machops. Okay, yeah, perfect. There we go. These machops. These machokes. They can use double colors energy. I just need to take the double colors out of the bug deck. that and then bring it into punchy deck. I'll have to take out the full heal energies just to make this a little bit cleaner. Okay. Let's try this again. Can I punch you? No basic Pokemon. Okay. Alright, we got Good Sand Shrew. Dark Dark Trio, Gust of Wind, Bill's Teleporter. Sand Shrew it is. I would love to go first, game. It would be really cool of you to let me go first. <laughs> and it's Lickitung, and it's gonna start paralyzing immediately, isn't it? I know this shit works. Cool! I'm gonna die. Bill's teleporter! Yay, draw four cards! Energy removal, energy removal, I'm a chop. Okay, okay. You don't think I can work with. I put down the Machop. I'm giving that Machop double colorless energy. I can even gust to win this Lickitung away and bring out, like, the Snorlax or the Kangaskhan and start beating it up. Now, Sandshrew's Swift does not deal 40 damage because it ignores resistance. However, the Poison thing dealing 20 with a chance of poison, I do like. Let's bring out Snorlax because I don't want to keep being paralyzed. And then we'll use Sandshrew to try to kill the Snorlax. I was worried about energy removal, so I didn't want to commit too much energy to the board. 
I mean, I got a handful of it. Poison sting! And you poison! Cool. Alright, so this Snorlax will go down pretty swiftly here. Use potion energy. Another Bill's teleporter. Yes! Good, good, good. Now, no more card draw. I don't want to run out of juice. Ooh. Let's save that plus power for something else. Like Lickitung. Because coming out and suddenly doing a bunch of extra damage against that freaking idiot would that feel great. It would just feel good. Scoops up. Just goes Chansey. Chansey's not going to do anything. Uh, same plan, Sandshrew. See if you can't poison her. Or we're going to have Machop get in there. Nah, I think Machop plan would be faster. So long as they don't scoop up Chansey as well. Boom, 40. Super energy removal. God damn it. Bill's teleporter? Alright. They're lucky I've got a handful of fighting energy. Others would be way more upset right now against this stupid Chansey. Alright, he's down to four cards in his hand. And isn't doing anything. Oh, I just got Sand Slash. Great. Focus on my chop for now. Maybe we can start getting Sand Slash up and going. Boom! 120 hit points, a piece of crap. Switches out for Kangaskhan. Diglett. Cheap, efficient damage. Oh, and then I can get Doug Trio on to start punishing him for retreats. Awesome. Kick for 60. Boop! Energy removal. That's fine. Still got damage. Double colorless energy to lick a tongue because, of course, he wants to paralyze. Diglett. All right. Dark Doug Trio. There we go. So now anytime he tries to retreat, he's going to have a chance of taking 20 damage. Damage is damage. All right. I'll start spreading out my energy on a Sancher here. Because my top's still hitting for 40. That's quite a bit. And it, oh, energy retrieval, yeah. Because if he wants to keep spreading out, hitting that uh, energy removal nonsense, like spreading it out is going to help me. Yeah, like that. And if he paralyzes, I won't need to worry about putting out energy into Machop in case he gets paral paralysis locked. Second Machop. Great. Fighting energy onto Sandshrew. Uh, probably ditch away the other Diglett for energy retrieval. But for now, we chill. Keeps tongue wrapping. Damn it. Graveler, not helpful. Though I do have Golem and Graveler now. I just kind of debate putting down the evolution. Just in the small chance that I need to, uh... I need to, like, evolve through a par paralysis or something. You know what I mean? Is this freaking lick a tongue I swear to God! Any time now. Finally! Get my chop out of there. Oh, you've got 90 hit points. How can I kill you?
Lucky Fury swipes. Or... Send them a chop. Plus power. We only do 80s, not quite kill. Or... Sinkhole. For 40 or 80 damage. I guess just going, uh... Alright, let's just start. Let's get the energy retrieval going. Throw away the other diglet. Fighting energy, fighting energy. Let's just go to the other much shop. Let's we'll retreat him. He only has 10 hit points, so I don't want to use the waste the switch on him. Just get him for 60, and then if he paralyzes, I can switch out Machop. Use something else to kill Lickitung. Doesn't. Good. So now Machop can kill. And kill. Item finder. Ooh. Do I have any discard trainer cards in my discard I want to grab out? Oh, you're going to try to scrunch? Nope, went with the double edge. Kills yourself to kill Machop. Okay. Message received. Oh, I found you, dude. Uh, go Sandshrew. So we can put down Geodude, start getting him ready to become Graveler and Golem. You only need two energy to start attacking. Right. Whoop! Alright, what's in my discard pile? I can use Item Fighter to get out. Energy Retrieval, Energy Removal, Bill's Teleporter. Energy Retrieval will looking tempting. Should I need it? So I know I got plus power, but if I get all three tails, plus power does nothing, and I don't want to waste it. So uh, we're just gonna fury swipes. Just getting for 40. Which this Norlax's gonna die. Got Machoke. He's not gonna do much unless it's. No, my Machop is too damaged for me to use Macho. Like, he will just die. Off Graveler. I think I actually might need to start energy retrieving now. Yeah. We'll discard that Macho and one of the plus powers. Get energy retrieval. Ah, uh, Fury Swipes? Get him down to 10? He uses full heal energy on Lickitung. More energy to Graveler. Kind of ditch my hand. Probably still just a plus power. Or Golem. Actually, do I want Dutch to go on? Because Graveler's Boulder Smash is awesome. Like, if he wants to stall and I can start dealing big damage to his bench. We'll let future Jared decide. Slash! More energy. Good. And here comes that little licky bastard trying to paralyze. God... Damn it. That's fine. That's why I have the switch. I can also just go super scoop up. Energy to Graveler and switch. Come back, Sand Slash. Go Graveler. I will plus power Graveler. Boulder Smash. And nope. And yay, extra 10 damage. 
Probably that lick of tongue. Bonk! <laughs> He's dead. Miss it. Yeah, kill the Lickitungs. They're the only thing like do anything to me right now. Another plus power. I could scoop them up. Send back out Sand Slash. Let Sand Slash kill. But then there's a second Lickitung. No, we'll be patient. Graveler's got plenty of hit points left. And if he misses a Paralyze, which he won't, Now this time, he'll miss the Paralyze, allowing Graveler to finish him and deal... Okay, good. And he still has enough hit points left to take another hit. Double colorless energy. For... Oopst. No one? Actually, with him being this injured, I could evolve him into Golem now. No, you need one more fighting. No, you have the fight. Play the double cause energy, start hitting for 60. No, not yet. Not yet. Will this boulder smash? Because I might be able to deal some damage to the bench. Yes. I have to lick a tongue. Because if he sends his other lick a tongue and then goes for the tongue wrap and paralyzes Graveler, then I evolve him to Golem. Get rid of the paralysis and then kill his last thing. Let's lick a tongue. Tongue wraps. Paralyzes. Just like I said. Draw a card. And evolve into Golem! Fighting energy. I can even self destruct. Kill everything. Die! 200 damage! Got him! Everything! And I got my last prize. Explosive finish! KO! This youth who has come here is indeed a strong one. <laughs> I swear to God, if I get double colors energy on this booster pack. All right, good. Another Wrigley Tough, Defender, Marowak, plus power. And... I have a full place out of this Dragonite now. Well, I'll be. It's been a while since I've lost. The next time you come to fight, I may change my card requirements. That's everyone. You defeated us all, eh? Then take this, the GR colorless coin. Frickin' finally. Another long episode, I'm so sorry. I got it. You still need to earn the GR psychic coin to enter the castle. The only person who has that coin is Claire in the GR psychic fortress. So go on over to the GR psychic fort. Yeah. Yeah, all right. First try, I did it. There we go. This, I got him. I got him. All right, well, sorry for the longer episode, but hey, another coin down. Now we go into the psychic gym and do some fun psychic stuff. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time.